Call of Duty likes to use real world weapons in their games, give them a little bit of extra authenticity, but some guns seem to pop up more often than others. Welcome everybody, Jimmy or Chaos. Today we're going to be looking at guns that have appeared the most times throughout COD history from the original game all the way to COD Vanguard. So place your bets right now. Which gun do you think has appeared the most times? And just so we're on the same page, we're only talking about multiplayer appearances in this video. We're only counting mainline COD games. No Warzone, no COD Mobile. Drop a like. Let me know if you were right in the comment section. And guys, go follow me on Twitter. It's by far my most active social media platform. And if you tell me you came from the YouTube channel, I'll give you a follow back. The link is at the top of the description. Let's get started. Number 10, the MP5 and the MP5K. It's an iconic submachine gun, pretty much expected to show up in every single COD game in one form or fashion, and uh, if it's in modern era, it's probably here. It debuted in COD 4 as one of the best guns in the game, then it was brought back in both Modern Warfare 2 and 3, although the reviews were mixed on both of those versions. It also appeared in the original Black Ops, where it had a decent fan club, and it appeared in Modern Warfare 2019, where it was easily the best SMG in the game, and Black Ops Cold War once again one of the best guns in the game. In total, the MP5 has appeared six times throughout COD history and it has remained rather consistent in its behavior, although the damage varies from game to game. Sometimes it hits like a truck, other times it's like a pea shooter, but it's an iconic weapon uh, and it's a good way to start today's list. At number nine, the Sten. The World War II era submachine gun that changed quite a bit throughout COD history, which is kind of weird considering the real world version stopped production back in the 40s. I mean, at least the version that appears in COD games. The Sten is actually still in production, but it has seen a number of design changes since the end of World War II. This is a British SMG, appeared in COD 1 and 2. It took an extended break from multi uh, multiplayer, although it still appeared in a few campaigns. Then it returned in COD multiplayer and Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, COD World War II, COD Vanguard, giving it a total of six appearances. Sten is usually very reliable, has moderate rate of fire, solid damage, good range values, relatively ro low recoil. I mean, if I had to pick a favorite version, I'd probably go with the Advanced Warfare. At number eight, the MP40. Let's stick with the World War II era weapons for one more entry at least. Long history in Call of Duty thanks to its prominence in real world warfare. It's a German SMG. It's known for its relatively low rate of fire, but hefty damage, and it's been pretty busted a couple times. We already know this. The MP40 appeared in COD 1, 2, 3, and World at War before taking a bit of a hiatus from multiplayer, but then it returned in COD World War II and Vanguard. It's a futuristic version called the HD-40 in Black Ops 3, which gives this iconic weapon a total of seven appearances in Call of Duty multiplayer. I guess we could also count the Blackout version, but that seems like cheating since you can't equip it the regular class in Black Ops 4's multiplayer. So for the sake of the list, we're going to give the MP-47 appearances, which I, I it's, that's a lot. Which one's my favorite? Well... I gotta go with the World at War version, come on. I mean, it broke the game. While Vanguard version, it's pretty powerful. We live in an age of constant patches and nerfs, so no guns stay on top for too long. The World at War, it was busted from day one, and it's still busted today. At number seven, the M4. Let's shake it up with a modern era weapon. It's appeared many times under many different names throughout COD history, and everybody has their own opinion of which one is the best. Now, you'll have to stick with me here because the M4 has had a lot of different names throughout COD history because different COD games were using different versions of it, so here we go. It first appeared in COD 4 as the M4 Carbine. Then it returned as the M4A1 in Modern Warfare 2. Then we got the Commando, which was a prototype version in the original Black Ops. Then the M4A1 returned in Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2019. And finally, the XM4, another prototype, Black Ops Cold War. And we can't forget the MV4, a futuristic version on Infinite Warfare. It gave the M4 a total of seven appearances throughout COD history. Lots of different versions, but since they're all technically the same rifle, I'm lumping them together. And when it comes to my favorite version, I'm going to go with the Black Ops 1 Commando. It has a special place in my heart. It was smooth. It was consistent. I know most people would probably prefer the 2019 version, but the Commando has my vote. At number six, the Car 98K. We're jumping back to World War II for just a minute. Easily one of the most beloved sniper rifles in COD history, and I get it. Classic bolt-action rifle, smooth design, cracking firing sound, and a very consistent damage profile in every single appearance. While it's not always the best sniper in the game, it's never a bad choice to take. It appeared in COD 1, 2, and 3 as a standard German sniper rifle, then it returned to World at War, COD World War II, Modern Warfare 2019, and COD Vanguard, which gives it seven multiplayer appearances. 
Now, when comparing all the different versions, most COD players lean toward the COD World War II or maybe the Modern Warfare 2019 appearances, but personally, I have a lot of great memories with the World at War version, especially with the Iron Sights. Iron Sight sniping in World at War was unique and memorable. At number five, the M16 and the M16A4. Let's do another non-World War II era gun. Now, the M16 is one of the most heavily used rifles in real-world combat today, so naturally, it's appeared a lot throughout COD history. It's appeared in three Modern Warfare games, four Black Ops games, and even Advanced Warfare, which gives it a total of eight appearances. Now, despite the M16 being known as a burst weapon in Call of Duty, the real-world version can actually fire in full auto, and the burst version wasn't even developed until 1983, meaning the Black Ops 1 M16 was a lie. But when you pick a favorite version, I gotta go with Black Ops. I know the COD 4 version was busted beyond reason, but I just love the feel of the original Black Ops version. I mean, you're not gonna change my mind. No doubt we'll see the M16 again later this year in Modern Warfare 2.2. At number four, the STG-44 and the MP-44. This is one of the first automatic rifle rifles ever developed. Now, the STG-44, also known as the MP-44, was first designed in 1938, and then it was produced for the German Army from 43 to 40 fapped. In fact, the STG-44 was the first gun in history to ever be referred to as an assault rifle, and its design had a heavy influence on firearms in the future. In Call of Duty, the rifle appeared as the MP-44 in COD 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then as the STG-44 in World at War, Advanced Warfare, COD World War II, and COD Vanguard giving it a total of eight appearances and multiplayer experiences. Now, it's seen some pretty hefty changes throughout the years, mainly in the fire rate department, but it's usually a solid and reliable choice to take into battle with you unless you're playing COD 4. Now, I know a lot of players are sick of seeing it absolutely everywhere, but it's a good gun. At number three, the AK-47. Iconic. It was designed in the Soviet Union in 1946, and it's one of the most heavily produced guns in human history. Reliable design, rather cheap production costs. By 2004, it was estimated that over 75 million AK-47s had been produced, and there were only 500 million firearms in the world at that time, so that should give you some insight onto why the rifle is so common. When it comes to COD, it's appeared in all four Modern Warfare games, as well as Black Ops 1 Advanced Warfare, Black Ops Cold War, and a futuristic variant called the Volk that popped up in Infinite Warfare, which gives this Soviet assault rifle a total of eight appearances. Now, if you know anything about me, you already know my favorite version. Black Ops. I, I seem to like Black Ops. Even if the fire rate wasn't very accurate to its real-world counterpart, the firing sound was great, the iron sights were clean, the recoil pattern was one of the easiest in COD history to control. I loved it. At number two, the M1 Garand. Another extremely important weapon from the World War II era. It was your standard U.S. service rifle from 36 to 58, and it's still in use today around the world because of the sheer amount that was produced, almost 5.5 million. Now, it's known for precise shooting and iconic pings when the clip is used, but I think, I think it's iconic in every sense of the world. When it comes to COD, it appeared in COD 1, 2, 3, World at War, Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, COD World War II, and COD Vanguard+. Plus. There was a futuristic variant called the MX Garand in Black Ops 3, which gives it a whopping nine multiplayer appearances. The gun has certainly been up and down throughout the years, yes. The old school versions were godlike, but the Vanguard version was widely hated on launch day because it was borderline useless. But contrary to popular belief, the real world in one grand can be reloaded mid-clip, so I'm not actually sure what their misconception was, but it is what it is. A lot of video games don't let you reload the M1 without spinning the whole clip first, probably just to get that iconic ping. And at number one today, the most reoccurring gun in COD history, you probably already guessed it, the M1911 cruises into the top spot. The Colt M1911 handgun is one of the most iconic weapons in the real world, first designed by John Browning in the year 1911. You guessed it, and it's still in use to this very day around the world. With about 4.2 million of them built as the recording of this video. It appeared in all three original COD games. It appeared in two Modern Warfare games, three Black Ops games, plus World at War, Advanced Warfare, COD World War II, and COD Vanguard, which gives it a grand total of 12 multiplayer appearances in COD history. Now, usually, the M1911 is a reliable handgun with somewhat underwhelming ammo capacity, sometimes has some bouncy recoil, but above average damage. Makes it a reliable sidearm, except COD 4, where it was weird. One of the most important firearms in human history, and easily the most reoccurring gun in COD history. It wasn't even close. There you have it, my friends. Let me know if you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.